and gentlemen, my name is Rob. Let's draw Sylvanas. So, to start with, I'm just simply blocking out the extents of the character because, contrary to what I normally do, I have a very limited space. I only want the character to um, to not extend beyond the, the edges of the canvas. So, as you can see, the first guidelines I put down were the edges of the hood that she wears, a bit of the, uh, the elfish ears, things like that. With portraits, it's kind of important that you make sure that you control um, very carefully what is in the frame. You want to fill as much of the canvas as possible with the subject, but you don't want odd bits and pieces falling over the edges, so I think this approach works well. So as, as you can see, I'm actually being very uh, fast with my overall skeleton. I'm not doing as much guideline work as I normally do. I'm jumping straight into the armor, the hood, the hair, everything like that. Reason being is I have a, uh, a very clear idea of what I'm going to do with this character, and it's these details that, that sort of make up the bulk of the composition. So. Instead of blocking out the big sweeping forms and gestures of the head and the shoulders, things like that, I'm just diving straight into it, uh, knowing full well that it's all going to work out. The, with portraits, it's very easy to get hung up on, on small things, so I'm just trying to nail down as much as I possibly can um, in terms of composition and what's actually going to be in the frame before I get bogged down. It's very easy to make that mistake of focusing on one part or another before you've gotten too far into it. Now here I've done my standard thing, uh, taken the line art, duplicated it, made it in the multiply layer, and then below that I filled the canvas, this time with a mid-tone gray, and then I started filling in colors. Uh, reason being, I want this to be a darker composition than normal. This is going to be a nighttime scene, so filling it with this this darker level of gray really helps um, establish the overall tone. You um, you might hear, uh, I think, in drawing on the right side of the brain, uh, Betty Edwards mentions you know sort of adding a um, an overall tone to the entire image before you start shading. That's essentially what I'm doing here, except in my case, it's with colors. Now, Sylvanas herself is mostly a very desaturated, cool gray, almost going toward the blue. And her armor is a bit of a very desaturated red, almost purple, so I figured the green, that pops out very well against the green of Undercity. So I'm going to have a couple lights in the background, really indistinct, but I want to give the impression that she's standing maybe in the courtyard or in one of the brighter districts, something like that. And this decision will inform my color choices and lighting decisions later on.
So as usual, when I'm blocking in the major highlights and the major shadows, I do them with a really soft edge brush on another layer and then flatten it all down. With, but with this particular composition, with the, the feel that I'm trying to communicate, that really wasn't enough. So what I mean by that is, for example, on the, the left edge of Savas's face, I wanted to make sure that I got a good impression of subsurface scattering through dead flesh and to really bring out that, that sickly green that, of the lighting of Undercity. So instead of just doing a neutral white and black for highlights and shadows, as you saw, I actually sampled the green color and slapped that on directly onto the color layer. Normally, this is not something I do. I like to use very just just plain black, plain white to to bring out highlights and shadows because when you use a color, the saturation, the overall value, everything, it becomes much, much harder to control. But in this case, because it's a very desaturated green um, that is actually complementary to her skin tone, uh, the overall effect was pretty easy to predict, so I just went ahead and did that. As a general rule, though, I don't like mixing colors into my shadow layers. Now here I've just been adding in smaller and smaller details. Really the overall composition is, is finished. It's been long finished. But what we're doing here is that last 20% or so that really sells the image. So adding in variations in the, the highlights on the locks of hair. Adding curled edges. Softening up edges where the original sketch left a, a dark line. unifying the lighting, things like that. Small details like frame the hood in places. And giving things frayed edges and small imperfections, that actually goes a long way to selling the image. Because when things are too perfect, when things are too pristine, uh, nothing's distressed, especially given a world like the World of Warcraft, it, it, it makes it feel very fake, very um, composed if you, if you don't have those sorts of elements. So by adding in these small frayed edges, I'm selling the idea that this is armor that Sylvanas has had for a very, very long time. And it adds that sort of, of level of realism to it, that, that plausibility. As you can see, really, I'm just, at this point, cleaning it up, flattening out certain areas, eliminating stray lines. All the while, I'm maintaining my consistent lighting scheme. I have a very strong green light coming in from the right edge, and a weaker fill light coming in from the upper right.
Amen.